Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with the next topic for this training which is on critical basis authorizations. In this training, we'll be seeing critical object from SAP basis perspective because basis is the administration and maintenance and managing of different products within SAP system. So let's get into seeing the critical objects. The most critical thing is about the tables. Security for tables are controlled through three authorization object. First thing is S underscore tab U underscore DIS based on the table authorization group s underscore tab u underscore cli is for security for client independent tables and s underscore tab u underscore lin is row level access to tables so these are the three key table related control objects one is for the authorization group second is for client independent tables and third is for the row level access to tables now for reports for reports s underscore program is the key object basically all the reports and executable programs can be protected through s underscore program s underscore program checks if the executing user has a access to the program authorization group maintained as a program attribute so from report perspective from the execution and displaying of report perspective the key program is s underscore program okay and from the table perspective we have three different objects s underscore tab u based on the table authorization group s underscore tab u underscore cli it's based on the security for client independent tables s underscore tab u underscore lin basically for the row level access to tables okay so these are the two critical objects from the table perspective from the report perspective okay next thing is we will be seeing the the authorization objects for background jobs for spool for user roles for BDC sessions for the ABAP workbench okay so for all these critical activity we'll be seeing which are the different objects okay so let's get into the other ones but before that what we have seen so far is about the tables that is s underscore tab u underscore cli s underscore tab u underscore dis s underscore tab u underscore lin for the reports s underscore program this is the most critical object to control the execution of programs okay now as we saw the background jobs the basic object for a background job is s underscore bt ch underscore job to administer jobs created by other users, user would need s underscore btch underscore adm. To schedule jobs with the access of another user would require s underscore btch underscore name. So for a batch job, basic object is s btch underscore job. And to manage the object which is created by other users, you will require this object which is s underscore btch underscore name and one thing to take note here is that all these objects are starting with s that is for the system admin okay the next thing is let's get into the spool which is controlled by these objects s underscore admi underscore fcd s underscore spo underscore act s underscore sp underscore dev s underscore spo underscore page so basically s underscore spo underscore act can be used to give access to spools with specific authorization value and s underscore admi underscore fcd in addition to spools control access to a lot of system admin basis functions 
Okay, next thing is let's get it into the user central. A number of authorizations like S underscore user underscore AGR, AUT, GRP, OBJ, PRO, SAS. So these are the authorizations for users and roles. You can segregate. Basically, you can segregate the access for role administration with that of user administration by use of these objects. Okay, next thing is the BDC sessions and a BAP workbench. BDC session is basically controlled through the object S underscore BDC underscore money. That is the BAT sessions are one of the possible ways of loading data into SAP. Sessions are monitored through the transaction called SM35 at S underscore BDC underscore money allows security on session names and possible activities like process lock delete. Then next is the ABAP workbench which is controlled through the object called S underscore develop. Controls are possible on object type, object name, activity, package. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular training session. Thank you for joining and have a nice day.